Good friends, welcome back to another video. Yes, you read this correctly. How to gain a 18% buff on firepower and durability. This is not a clickbait and it's completely free. Yes, I know there's not much free stuff in this game, but there is that free buff. If you know about this, then maybe you're not applying it or maybe you're not using it. If you're kind of new to this game, this video is perfect for you because it will, it will let you um, start the, the right way to obtain this buff. So where is that uh, power? It's hidden right there in this assembly workshop. You go to camp, camp rank, you click on this. And as you can see, all my three camps are maxed all the way, okay? All the way complete to a duration five. Um, and when you, you, you click on, on this, you see at level five, when you have six Vanguard Division troops deployed, deployed, okay? You gain a 18% attack damage and an 18% damage resist on all your troops. That is huge. That is a big buff, and uh, you you may not use it correctly or to your advantage. So, for the the old player, listen how to play with this. So, as you can see, I have three two grounds unit on the same camp rank uh, a heavy tank and a medium and with my airplanes i have also three vanguard uh, two bombers and one fighter this one i don't use it much it's not strong enough but it doesn't matter i don't even have need to have it trained okay so right now I have 15% uh, damage resist and, and, and attack. If I want to get an extra three, I only need to add another unit. So in the real world, how does it work is, let's say, for example, I'm, I'm uh, battling on the battlefield. I use mostly those two tanks or even this one. And I want to gain that extra 3% buff. What I'm going to do is I simply will take out this weaker artillery since I, I don't see any base near me. I'm not under attack. So I'm going to sacrifice this unit and I'm going to put this one. I'm going to click deploy. I don't need to train it. I only need to deploy it. So automatically I will gain the, the extra 3% on all my Vanguard units. Um, now, as far as I know, there's no real visual, uh, there, there, there's no, uh, nothing you can tell that you gain this buff, but you do have it, okay? It doesn't affect the power, you don't see the power itself, uh, you don't see the power, but you, you have that power. I've done some tests and it does work, okay? So this is a trick, and, and when I'm done with the battle, I want to maybe destroy a base, so I need all my, all my howitzer. I simply reassign my howitzer uh, like this, and now I have to train. So it's four clicks to gain 3% attack damage and durability. That's it. It's very easy to do. You just have to think about it when you're on the battlefield. 3% might not be a lot, but if you want to gain that same buff by doing research, it will take you quite a lot of resources and, um, and speed up, okay? If you're a new player, now you may not have all those camp rank to uh, maxed out, okay? And this is a good way to start on the right foot. What I mean is, you have to determine which unit you plan to use the most. When I start this game, I mostly use my medium Vanguard tank because it was my, my go-to unit, was my preferred unit. So I said to myself, well, might as well have an additional ground unit of the same camp rank. And when the 
that the, the Air Force was introduced. I focus mostly on Vanguard, as you see, as you can see, all my airplanes are Vanguard. So you have to pick the right unit, make sure that you're going to use this unit for the rest, not the rest of the game, but almost because it takes a lot of time to assemble a proper unit. And then you're going to focus on that specific camp to reach all the bonus um, possible. And how to get, uh, how to focus on the camp rank, it's easy. If, if you take time to read, if you don't, you just simply need to do those missions. You see, complete officer missions and assemble units to earn a rank bonus. So as for the missions, they're right there. You know this already. So you see this mission I, I've completed, it's a Vanguard mission. So if I want to do another Vanguard mission, I, I click on this one, this one, etc., etc. Okay? Sometimes the game won't, most of the time, should I say, the game won't let you focus on all the same uh, camp mission. But if you can do a little bit more than the rest of the other camps, you're going to grow, you're going to reach that maximum much faster. Therefore, benefit from that buff. Okay. Uh, and as for uh, 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 units, well, you just have to focus on on the specific camp unit let's say that not let's say today is martyr's watch so if i want to develop more of this camp i will use those coupons i have uh, 153 i'm going to draw them all ideally on the recruitment drive uh, event so i can get some more get get more medals better rewards and if it's not the case and you're at the recruitment drive, you can always move to another city where it's that uh, camp that is uh, based on a uh, focus to, to draw your coupons. Because this, this, uh, this camp, it changed from um, a city to another. Okay, It's not always the same, same camp uh, on every city. It changed. So you may have to move draw your coupons and move back to your uh, original city so that's it guys it's really easy to achieve it's free power you just have to to work it out and grind your way in grind your way up and uh, that's it guys i hope you learned something and uh, i hope you had a great san francisco event so that's it for today see you in the next video bye